Hi, Nan Reeves. My name is Neil. I'm with DoorColics.com. Hi, Neil. How are you? I'm good. I just finished the tonight's episode of, of Quantum Leap, Ben Song for the Defense. So I feel like I really know your character now. Yeah. Yeah. What'd you think? Sassy, huh? I mean, I want to ask, what do you think? How would you describe your character, Jen Chu? Um, I think Jen is, Jen's a little bit of the, you know, a little bit of a black sheep of the team, I think, because uh, from where she comes from, she, she was a felon, she served time, she was, you know, obviously earning, Matt, pardon, magic found her because um, she had got caught hacking and it was something that she is normally very good at. I think Jen still has a little bit of a gripe about the way she was caught, but um, it's some pretty serious offenses and served some time. So I think like, Jen, because of her history, because uh, she's a little bit of a rebel that way, because she grew up with a father who had a serious, has a serious gambling addiction. Um, and I think when you grow up with a parent um, that has an addiction like that, it, it creates an unstable environment for the kid. And so I think Jen grew up very early, very independent, very self-sufficient uh, because she had to. Um, and so I think those are the strengths that she brings to the team, maybe with a little humor, a little attitude, a little sass. Um, I think she, she brings a lot of color. I agree. And how would you describe the impact this role has on Asian representation? Well, I think, oh man, I'm going to get emotional. <laughs> um, I think, I think the fact that we have, that Ray is on the show and that I am on the show and we play characters who aren't husband and wife, we aren't brother and sister, it's just two Asian Americans that happen to be in the main cast on a show. And that you don't, it, there isn't really an explanation needed. It was something that I, I had a conversation with casting early on, but I think we, I, I'm so proud of that. I think that's significant of, um, of, where casting and visibility is today. Um, and this is a network show. And I just think like for um, so many people where there isn't a huge Asian population to be able to see that. And, and to, it, that's just life, you know? Like, I think I'm really proud of that. I think, um, you know, when I, before I met Ray, I messaged him uh, just quickly and just said, Hey, congratulations. And like, not to be like a goober about it, but like, it's, I'm, I don't know you, but I'm, I'm so proud of you, um, to be number one on a show, you know? And I think like, I didn't watch the award ceremony last night, but waking up to that news, um, I think I, 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 I watched that film in the theater and, um, I was caught off guard by how, um, Michelle Yeoh had this this one moment in a scene that was like really beautiful and it really showed the complexity of her character and her and her situation and it it caught me off guard I got really emotional about it and I didn't realize that um that that was that that still I thought I was you know kind of like a crusty old jaded actor who'd been kicking around in LA that 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 really still matters like that really it hit me like oh that representation really matters to be able to see that so I feel very proud to be, um, you know, a part of a show and and that has visibility in that way um, that that hopefully, you know, sends a message to a lot of a lot of other people that look like me and feel like. Me. I mean, this episode really featured your character's quick thinking, especially when it comes to, let's say, using future knowledge to help with um, racing <laughs> results. And that really created like this different experience for Ben and audiences. What was the experience like for you being playing such a pivotal role in this episode? Yeah, I, I mean, I had a great time. I mean, I loved being able to shoot with Ray, with, you know, Jen and Ben having character, each having scenes together, because you don't see them together prior to that, really. Um, and so that was just so fun to make. I think also just I really loved that there was a chance to show the relationship and the dynamic between those two characters, a little bit of a, a familial, you know, uh, feeling there giving, giving, I think, you know, when, before Ben left, Jen and Ben had a great friendship. And I think that there was probably a lot of humor in that, maybe a little goading, you know, before he left, maybe he was um, a bit more reserved. 
So for Jen to be able to see him in this light, um, now that he's really sort of developed out these other aspects of his personality that maybe she didn't really know about before, or wasn't as familiar with, I think is great. And also, but also it's a little bit of that, like, hey man, listen, I knew you when you were still back at the program. And like, I still know that I can kind of like go to him a little bit. And it was fun to be able to um, show those aspects and, and, and to have fun and to be able to play off of Ray in those scenes as well, because his comedy is so great. And for us to sort of just have a good time and loose and, and, and kind of, you know, hit some of those moments. Besides this episode, Ben's song for the defense, what other episodes have you found to be incredibly memorable from the season? I really love the Halloween episode. I just think it's so fun um, um, just with the demon. And, and I think that guest cast is, <laughs> they just have such a good time with the sort of whodunit of it all. Everybody's so funny. And I think, um, I think also that that scene, um, I mean, that episode is, is I feel close to because there was a scene in there between Jen and Addison um, that really had some emotional intimacy there that I think we hadn't seen before. So I, I feel proud of that one. That one's probably one of my favorites. Yeah. Thank you so much for your time, Dean Henriza. I'm looking so much so forward to the rest of this season. Thank you very much. Thanks, Neil. What do you mean okay. moving back on? I mean, I see I'm just now I'm distracted by all your collectibles over there. <laughs>